Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a career simulation of Saquon Barkley after joining the Philadelphia Eagles. I still honestly like don't know how this happened. Brian Burns is officially no longer a Panther. Um, sat in pure depression yesterday after seeing this news. Some man told me that uh, with this second round pick, we might be able to get Marvin Harrison Jr. So, you know, shouts out to that person if you're watching this. Um, you're cooking, buddy. Looking at the squad, Saquon Barkley, like, he just adds the extra element. A 92 overall X Factor running back. Like, this is just ridiculous. Obviously, Jason Kelsey being gone is very unfortunate. They're probably going to draft the center if I was to guess this year, but I do not know. Jalen Carter, obviously a dog. The entire Georgia Bulldog defense out here. Very best lineup. Darius Slay is injured for some reason. I guess he got injured in preseason. He's only injured one more week. With all that being said, I guess all we can do now is just get through the first season, see how Saquon can do in this new offense, and uh, I hope he goes off for 2K. Wow. So it looks like we don't make the playoffs somehow. Um, I honestly have no idea what happened. It looks like Saquon's not top three in rushing. Jalen Hurts does have a pretty solid season, 30 touchdowns to nine picks, 3,900 yards, pretty much 4K on the year. Saquon only gets 1,000 yards and Jalen Hurts gets 10 touchdowns. This is absolutely absurd. What? He averages the same yards per carry as Saquon. What is going on? Uh, Devontae Smith does go off for 1,200 and AJ Brown gets 1,000 on the year. Dallas Goddard only gets 670, but that is pretty solid numbers for a tight end. Julio Jones is still here somehow. I did have to start in the 2023 season because um, you can't really install custom rosters unless... You do start in the current season. I really don't know how we did not make it to the playoffs, but you know, next year is right around the corner. Hopefully we can uh, break this curse. We are in the 2024 season. This is the real life season, but for us, this is one year into the future. Um, we did look like we get a left guard in the draft, which is pretty good. That is what we needed. Oh, Bobby Wagner. That is kind of crazy. We do get to Sean Gibson and we also end up getting Steven Nelson. That is quite interesting. I'm not going to complain. He is a high overall, so he should cook for us, fellas. We should not have missed the playoffs last year. This team is way too talented. Hopefully this year we can put it all together. Um, maybe just the first year with Saquon in the system. They didn't understand how it was going to work, but now... It's time to cook, fellas. All right, fellas, it does look like we make the playoffs. We got a first round bye, too, off an 11 and 6 season. That is very interesting. We do. Don't really know how that happens after going 8 and 9 and missing, but, you know, maybe the NFC has become way less competitive in the span of one year. Jalen Hurts has another pretty solid season. Only four picks is pretty absurd. Um, Saquon, 1,200 on the season. Jalen Hurts is still stealing his touchdowns, though. Imagine if these 10 were his. The tush push. Like, this is, might be what happens in real life, guys. I'm not going to lie. Saquon's just going to take all the yards and then go down at the one. Jalen's going to get the tush push in. He did actually have 700 yards on the season, so I don't know. Devonta Smith goes off for another 1,200-yard season. A.J. Brown only had 798. He only played 15 games, but for some reason, Michael Thomas is over A.J. Brown in yards. Wow. 31-year-old Mike Thomas has found the career resurgence with the Philadelphia Eagles. Um... This is very inspirational to see. I'm very proud of the guy. Hopefully, he can run more than a slant for us in this playoffs. We are going up against our division rival Dallas Cowboys in the divisional playoff round. Um, hopefully, we can get it done versus Dallas. They are a very talented team, obviously. Have not made any moves in real life up to the point of me making this video. I know Derrick Henry is heavily favored to go there or to the Ravens, but... You know, you never really know with Jerry Jones. All right, fellas, getting right into this. Looks like we started out on defense. Dallas scores first. They score again, 14-0. They're running down the field once again, 17-0. And we just cannot find an answer. 20-0 before half. Philadelphia cannot get anything going. We do get a field goal, 20-3. And going into the third quarter, 27-10, 27-11. Come on, driving down the field. Come on, fellas. 27-19. Ah, uh, it's over. That is just so unfortunate we scored on the final drive but it just would not be enough we were down too much dug ourselves too deep into that hole in the first quarter going down 27 to 3 i believe just not what you can do there jalen hurts looks like he has a great game 377 yards we do obviously have to see those picks he does not throw a single pick so jalen hurts did actually have a very good game um aj Dillon, the head back in uh dallas interesting 
Saquon Barkley only has 21 yards. He did get a touchdown, but come on now. How's AJ Dillon outperforming you, man? I get that we were down the whole game, so we were probably just slinging it, but I don't know. AJ Brown, Dallas Goddard. Where is Devonta Smith? He has a two touchdowns. Never mind. I was about to say he had a disappointing game, but he did get two touchdowns, so cannot really complain about that. The Eagles just cannot seem to get it going. We lose to the playoff chokers themselves. Hopefully next year, we will be able to find a uh, the missing piece to take down the Cowboys. I feel like we already got it in Saquon, but um, clearly not. Checking out the yearly awards, and Jalen Hurts actually wins MVP. That is kind of crazy because he got 24th in the league for passing touchdowns. Does get second for Offensive Player of the Year. I guess those rushing touchdowns he's stealing from Saquon are really helping him out. Saquon even get on the best running backs. Josh Jacobs for the Packers is doing crazy. Devin, wow. Wow. Um... Maybe the Giants made the right choice. Damian Pierce of the Panthers, I'd cry. Saquon does come in fourth. Um, you know, Devin Singletary getting higher than him is not a good look. I'm actually going to go check out his stats right quick. So Devin Singletary, just what? 21 touchdowns. He does have four fumbles on the season, only 935 yards, but 21 touchdowns. These could be the seasons that Saquon's having if Jalen was not stealing every single touch on the tush push, man. Come on. We're just going to get right into the next season. Hopefully, we can get Saquon his first Super Bowl. Um, You know, obviously, that's why he came to the Eagles. The Giants were not treating him right. So, let's get it done, boys. Looking at the team once again, it does look like we've filled up this offensive line. Looks like we've got a guy, Kevin Livingston. KJ Livingston. Interesting. Rookie out of Tennessee. Does look like a pretty, pretty good player. 76 overall center. Very nice. AJ Brown does go down to superstar and he is regressing down to a 98 overall. That is unfortunate to see. Uh, Dallas Goddard does go down to star. Darius Slay, like I said, 84 star. I really called that. Um, Hassan Reddick somehow goes up to X Factor. I'm not going to complain about that. Isaiah Rogers up to star. The team, I don't know. They're great, but they're just not performing. I don't like this. I'm going to move James Bradbury to strong safety. All right, now with James Bradbury strong safety, I feel like this defense is a little bit more secure. It doesn't really change up that much, but uh, it just adds that extra layer of security for my life. And with all that being said, fellas, let's see if Saquon can finally get that Super Bowl ring in year three. I'm hoping, man. Come on, fellas. And once again, we do go eight and nine and look at who is leading the NFC East. It is the Giants. I have just got to go look at their team. Um, what is going on? All right, so uh, it's just painful right there. Um, this team, okay, so they found their way into an X Factor quarterback. I feel like this is how they're so successful. 88 overall in year two is absolutely absurd. Is the running back still Devin Singletary? It, 88 overall? What the hell? um so Devin Singletary he does have a down year from last year uh on touchdowns but the yards are going up uh wow his first year in New York was very underwhelming um yeah I don't really know what's going on guys I feel like our team is definitely better than the Giants we're just kind of, kind of getting screwed by Madden here oh yeah baby Bryce Young leading the league in passing yards that's what we like to see right there oh Jalen Hurts looks like he has a down season 23 touchdowns only three picks which is good but we're looking for more. Okay, Saquon finally has the season we're looking for. 19 touchdowns, 1,500 yards. That is amazing. Does get three fumbles on the season, which I do not like to see. But, you know, we cannot complain. He finally has gotten his production up. Devonta Smith does get 1,000 yards on the season. AJ Brown, he's had a very disappointing career here after the Saquon Barkley trade. Don't really know if he's gotten above 1,000 yards since that first season. Anyway, fellas, we do not make the playoffs again in year three uh eight and nine once again as we were in year one hopefully next year we can put it all together uh don't really know what's been going on i've been saying hopefully next year we can put it together for two years now so let's cook fellas please do something all right fellas going into year number four looks like aj brown does go down in development to star he has had a very disappointing career um after we got saquon don't really know it has completely just taken his involvement in the offense out Saquon did actually end up winning 2025 best running back. I don't know why I didn't show you guys. And it does look like the boys did retire. Darius Slay and James Bradbury both gone in the same offseason. But it does look like we got Steve Britt, a stud cornerback out of Virginia Tech. Oh, my God. 95 speed, 80 man, 78 zone. That guy is going to be a franchise cornerstone for us. Fellas, well, I'm feeling just about as confident as I did uh, the past four years that this team is a playoff team. Uh, we just cannot put it together for some reason. Hopefully this year, please. All right, fellas, finally our best season yet. We do not get the first round by off the 12 and five season, unfortunately. Um, 
Going to go ahead and check out Saquon's stats. Jalen Hurts has another 23 touchdown, four pick season. Cannot really get over that 4,000 yard mark, but he is throwing a low amount of picks. And when Saquon Barkley's playing like this, I do not expect anything else out of Jalen. Beautiful stuff. Only one fumble this season brings it down three. Uh, 16 touchdowns and 1,500 yards again. Devonta Smith is starting his A.J. Brown arc. 992 yards only. Does not get 1,000 yards. A.J. Brown, 888. Better than... Probably everything he's done his entire career other than year one. Um, four touchdowns, though, so can't really be too excited about it. Hopefully, we can prove that we are not frauds like last time. All right, starting now. The Eagles got the ball. We do not score. Get it back. We do score. 7-7 seven to seven in the second quarter. It looks like the Bucks are driving down 14-7. to seven. We lose the ball 17-7 to seven going into half. Oh, 14-17. to 17. Beautiful. Score right before half. 20-14. to 14. Looks like the Bucks are driving down the field once again. 28 to 14 they do get a two point and we are cooked fellas we cannot get out of our first playoff game todd bowles is really out here destroying us nick sirianni is a fraud we need to get him out of philly jalen hurts three touchdowns two picks this is just not what we'd like to see out of our franchise quarterback looks like saquon has let us down once again does not get a touchdown only 28 yards that is disappointing aj brown i guess he's a playoff performer dude like i don't i don't even understand all right, well, that just is not how I wanted our season to end. It looks like we are playoff frauds. We have become the Dallas Cowboys, unfortunately for us. Um, I have been asking to make the playoffs the past couple of years, um, but I really want a Super Bowl, guys. Come on now. The one year I asked for the playoffs, um, you know, I wish I asked for the Super Bowl. What the hell? All right, fellas, heading into the 2027 season, real life 2028, Saquon Barkley does take some major, major regression. Um looks like he loses 22 total attributes that is not good to see saquon's in his 30s now fellas hopefully he can get a super bowl before he retires um i'm really hoping he did not snake the giants for no reason jalen carter looks like he goes up to x factor that is amazing to see jordan davis just not developing the way that jalen carter is he does go down to star unfortunately and this little brit fella does look to be star i thought he was gonna be something else but i'm not mad All right, fellas, 30-year-old Saquon Barkley, it is time. This is your legacy season, buddy. Please, please, can we make the Super Bowl? I need Saquon to get a ring before he retires. All right, fellas, mirror season 12-5 and five and in the wild card once again. Hopefully, we can make it past. Um, I'm very sick of losing in the first round of the playoffs every season. Jalen Hurts, 19 touchdowns to two picks. Not bad, 3,500 yards. You know, it's just pretty much what he's been doing his entire career. He's a very consistent quarterback and Saquon Barkley, 30 years old, probably has the best season of his career. 1,523 touchdowns, only one fumble. That is beautiful. Devonta Smith, no one's over a thousand yards anymore. Devonta has finally regressed, unfortunately. Turned it into AJ Brown. This is just so, so sad to see. I didn't check out the yearly awards last year, so we're going to check them now. Will Brown, the Giants quarterback, is in the MVP conversation. That, wow. Saquon does get second in Offensive Player of the Year. Brandon Ayuk must have had just a generational season. That is just so sad. Ayuk got 25 touchdowns. So yeah, he did. Yep, yeah, that's just crazy. I don't, I don't even know what to do about that one. All right, fellas, 90 overall versus 90 overall. Looks like we do have the X Factor advantage. Hopefully, that means something in this game, and we can actually make it out of our first playoff game for the first time this entire simulation. All right, fellas, looks like we are starting out with the ball, go three and out, and then the Lions score. We do score back going into the second quarter, seven to seven, 10 to seven, going into the 21 to 10, going into the second half, 13 to 21. I'm so special. They just score every single time I say that. 28 to 13, 20 to 28. It's looking like it's over, fellas. We do have the ball. It's third and nine, and we do convert, and that's game, fellas. Yep. All right, finally. We win our first playoff game. Um, hopefully this is a continued occurrence and we can continue to blow through these playoffs. Pause. All right, fellas, 30, oh no. What is the injury? No, I don't care. 31 to 20, that is a very beautiful set to see. Hopefully we can continue this trend, oh no. Going up against fourth and MVP Bryce Young. Can he take us out? I hope not. Wow, they have two X Factor tight ends. This is so interesting. Brandon Klein might be the next G-Reg. All right, fellas, we do start out with the ball. Once again, have a three and out, but we do get the ball back and score. Bryce Young cannot get anything going on this defense. 14 to zero. Going into the half, it looking like it's going to be 20 to zero. And I do call it this time, finally. Seven to 20. 
seven to twenty eight in the fourth, looking like it's over. Bryce Young can just not get it done. Finally, we are making it to the NFC Championship game, fellas. I really hope we can win. Um, I need this Super Bowl. Jalen Hurts, 200 yards, two touchdowns, zero picks. Pretty much a mirror game of Bryce Young. Um, Bryce did not play bad at all. Damian Pierce out here going crazy as well. They have Keenan Allen. What is this team? Saquon finally gets his touchdown in the playoffs. I don't know if he's had one before. Uh, I do not remember. 57 yards are not bad. Damian Pierce out rushing you is a problem though. All right, fellas, 28 to 14 is enough to push us to the NFC Championship versus the New York Giants. You cannot write a better script than this, fellas. Saquon Barkley has to go up against his old team to make it to his first Super Bowl. Those of you have made it this far into the video, I would appreciate a comment telling me what the craziest free agent signing this offseason has been in your opinion. Mine, um, personally, was Josh Jacobs to the Packers. I just don't understand that and why they cut a lifer Aaron Jones, who's been nothing but loyal, taking pay cuts every single season. You guys let me know down below. All right, fellas, the Giants are starting out the ball. They do get a three and out. We are up 3-0, 7-3. We get the ball. Saquon Barkley rushes for a touchdown, 10-7. Another touchdown, 17 to 7. Looking like we're going into the half, 17 to 7. 24 to 7, 14, 24, fellas. Come on. Saquon Barkley is about to do this for everyone back home. 33 to 20. And we've won, fellas. We did it. Saquon Barkley is going to the Super Bowl. Nick Sirianni has beat the terrible coach allegations. And apparently Brian Dabble got fired. Very interesting. Jalen Hurts is taking the field after a 33 to 27 win. To me, fellas. It's looking like the Eagles came out on top of this deal. Jalen Hurts, one touchdown, one pick on 370 yards. Will Brown, this dude is just absolutely insane. Three touchdowns, 300 yards, zero picks. Uh, you just can't ask for more. Saquon Barkley has a legacy game. Two touchdowns, 72 yards. Devin Singletary does get a touchdown of his own, but it is not enough to compete with Saquon. Does somehow have more yards per carry. Well, we are going up against the Buffalo Bills in the Super Bowl. Based off their track record in the Super Bowl, uh, hopefully we can make them 0-5 uh, in the last... 50 years, 30, I don't remember. Uh, I'm not Bengal. Starting out this game, the, the Buffalo Bills do start with the ball. They do go three and out. And we are driving down the field. Three to zero, starting it out. This is a very lame Super Bowl. 10-0 so far. Going in a half, it is 10 to seven. They are driving down the field. 14-10. Come on, fellas. Saquon Barkley, I need you to do something. 17-21. This drive is important, fellas. Saquon Barkley in that backfield looks absolutely disgusting. Um... I don't know if I'm prepared for that in real life. I'm kind of scared. Hopefully it does not go the way that it's going right now, or hopefully it does as a Panthers fan. I do like Saquon though. I want him to get a ring. Oh, find a deep ball. Jalen Hurts dot right over the defense. Looks like Legereus Sneed on the Bills. Derek Ware absolutely burns him, gives him that wear and tear on the ankles. Oh my God, what a dot Jalen Hurts. Absolutely beautiful. Found the opening in the defense, and he made him pass. Going up three points is very clutch. Does mean that the Bills need three to tie. They cannot win it with a field goal. Hopefully, hopefully we can stop them, fellas. All right, getting into the Bills' final drive, nine-yard reception, Stephon Diggs. I don't know about final drive, but five-yard penalty on Jeremy Weather. As our free safety, five-yard rush, Josh Allen. Oh, no. They are driving on us and driving efficiently. Stephon Diggs, we cannot find an answer. Oh my gosh, negative two yard rush. Frank Branch, come on. Goal line stuff. Nope. Dontavion Wicks, somehow on the Bills, ends up getting that one. This is an even more important drive than the one before. This one is to cement Saquon Barkley's legacy. Come on, fellas. You've got to win this Super Bowl. Jalen Hurts, looking, steps in the pocket, finds a man over the middle, just going to check it down. Nine yard gain, second and one. They run no huddle, no timeouts are being called yet. Interesting strategy. Uh, Jalen Hurts steps back, throws a quick one to Devonta Smith. Looks like he holds on to that up to the 40 yard line. Not calling timeouts once again. Jalen Hurts' X Factor is activated. Oh, fellas, y'all are in for something. Y'all are in for something. Jalen Hurts scrambling out, finds Devonta Smith once again on the sideline up to the 46 yard line, second and four. How is that not out of bounds? How is that not out of bounds? We run no huddle once again. I don't know why we're not calling timeouts. Devonta Smith just drops it. Devonta Smith drops it on second and four. That would have been massive. That was a 10-yard gain at least up to the 50. Come on, fellas. 
X Factor Jalen Hurts steps back, looking, scrambling. I I really hope they call timeout. All right, 39 seconds left. The clock is stopped. Jalen Fa- Jalen Hurts does have that X Factor. Come on, guys, you got to do something special. Jalen Hurts steps back, looking, finds someone over on the left side of the field once again. They call their second timeout. Only one left on the 42 yard line. Down four. Come on, guys. You cannot kick a field goal to tie this. And they throw another check down. What are they doing? No huddle. Only four second runoff. That's clutch. Um, Devonta Smith on that left side. We're looking for something with him. X Factor. And they throw it out of bounds just completely. Uh, I guess he does avoid the snack. That is good. Come on. Four. Down four, 14 seconds left, guys. This is where legends are made. Joan Hurt steps back, looks left, finds Devonta Smith down. Oh, breaks two tackles into the end zone. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You cannot ask for better endings than this. Saquon Barkley's career just saved by Devonta Smith. Breaks two tackles, finds his way into the end zone. Absolutely insane find absolutely burns number 36 don't know what 36 was doing 10 gets absolutely bitch so does 36 devonta smith is leading us to the promised land fellas oh my god don't get a damn kick return touchdown four seconds pass knocked away by brian osmoa third and 10 four seconds left this is the final play of the game josh allen steps back looking throws a check down to dalton kincaid and that is going to end the game that is very interesting strategy, but the Eagles do come out on top. Saquon Barkley gets his first Super Bowl. Looks like the experiment did work out in the end. If they do get a Super Bowl, um, beautiful Brian Osimo cannot believe it. And then uh, this guy. Yo, oh, what are you? What? Yo, yo. Casper's getting that work on the sideline. I see you, buddy. Saquon Barkley cannot believe it. This is beautiful. I'm so proud of him. I've uh, been watching him since Penn State. Finally gets that Super Bowl. Jalen Hurts does defeat Josh Allen. I just cannot believe that final play. That's going down in Super Bowl history. Wow. All right, so it does look like Josh Allen had 320 yards, three touchdowns to zero picks, and Jalen Hurts had three touchdowns to 266 yards. Josh Allen honestly did have a better game, but Hurts came out on top in the end. i um, very happy about that. James Cook gets one less yard than Saquon on five more carries. Saquon also gets a touchdown. This, like, I'm just, I can't believe the way that game just ended. That was crazy. We do come out on top in Super Bowl 62. Um, I'm very happy about this. Saquon Barkley finally gets his first Super Bowl in just a crazy fashion. Um, honestly, I keep saying it's crazy, but, like, that is literally the most insane thing I've seen in a sim for Madden, and it happens on a video, so that is beautiful. All right, fellas, heading into the 2028 season, aka 2029 season, it does look like Saquon Barkley has hit that regression down a superstar and an 89 overall, 25 points. That is really unfortunate to see. Still got 95 speed though, so hey, nice. Devonta Smith does go down a superstar as well. Um, the Eagles did a really good job of rebuilding this offensive line. I didn't even notice, but wow. 86, 87, 80, 89, 93. The defense has just not been worked on at all, it appears. Um, Hassan Reddick is still here down in normal dev. Um, Jordan Davis is here, but Jalen Carter is nowhere to be seen. Uh, our right end is terrible, our left end is terrible, and our secondary, much cannot be said more about them. All right, well, um, this is our least talented team yet, so... Uh, I'm guessing we shouldn't win anything based off the Caleb Williams career simulation. You know, um, anything can happen. And we do end up making the playoffs at 9-8. and eight. Um, I am don't really know how, but I'm not going to complain. Jalen Hurts has one of the best seasons of his career. 32 touchdowns to 3 picks. Very interesting. 4,100 yards. Mm. Saquon under 1,000 for the first time. Maybe in his career. Yeah, this is the first time in his career, other than those years he was injured, um, that he does not get 1,000 yards. Unfortunate, the downfall of Saquon Barkley must be studied. Devonta Smith is back. 1,400 yards and 14 touchdowns. 29, looking fine. AJ Brown continuing the uh, eclipse of mid. Um, five touchdowns, 800 yards. Don't really know what happened to this guy, but he fell off. All right, well, as y'all know, we did win the Super Bowl, so we are just going to be simulating these games. Hopefully, we can take down the Green Bay Packers, and I'm assuming Jordan Love. Um, and we actually do. Wow. We are going up against the New York Giants, and I'm probably going to hop into this one because this is just like two years, two playoffs against the Giants. 
come on now. Looks like they do have an X Factor strong safety, Mike Bennett. Now, um, I'm scared. I'm scared. All right, the Giants are starting out with the ball. Go down. They do score three. We retaliate with a touchdown, seven to three, seven to ten, and they score another field goal, seven to thirteen, and we score a touchdown right before half. They score one too, fourteen to twenty. Uh, 1426. Come on, fellas. 21 to 26. We need to score. We need to stop. Okay. It's looking like we're about to get one. Third and 11. 33 to 28. Come on, fellas. Their X Factor quarterback and the Saquon Barkley replacement. Not really Devin Singletary. is probably out of the league at this point, but he is running it. Looks like Tiki Barber punting it. Okay. I thought they were running a play on fourth and 10. Uh, uh, almost blocked. Wow. And it looks like we are going to bring it back to the 25-yard line. We do have zero timeouts and a minute and 41. We need to score a touchdown. Devonta Smith, we need your magic, man. All right, Jalen Hurts stepping back, looking. Find someone over on the left side of the field once again. He really loves that left side check down. Uh, it does always get some yards, but it does shred five seconds off the clock, unfortunately. Steps back once again. Finds a quick man over the middle. Looks like he throws to 89 once again. No huddle, two seconds. Wow, we are getting very lucky with these runoffs right now. A minute and 10 to go. 28 to 33. Can we get something going? Finds a dagger down the middle. A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown has finally done something. Gets us down inside of Giants territory. 49 seconds left. Down five. Come on, fellas. We've got to do something. Jalen Hurts scrambling up. Come on, you can't take this. You've got to, you've got to throw. He just throws out of bounds. Okay. When I meant you got to throw, I meant you got to throw downfield. You probably... Could have run it for a first down, but I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. Looks like, oh, scrambling out. Finds a man on the left side, but it gets swatted down by Riley Batterson. Nope, that is not him. 34 for the Giants. Have no idea who that is. Jalen Hurts, 36 seconds left, down five on the Giants. 34. Can we get something going? Jalen makes another adjustment. Sends his wide receivers to the right. Uh, He just cannot find anything to throw. Gets absolutely pummeled in the pocket. Fourth and ten. This is uh, this is for everything. Can Saquon take down the Giants once again, or are they going to get their revenge? Jalen Hurts looks, finds a man, but it is way short of the first down line. He does catch it over Deontay Banks, but it's just not going to be enough, unfortunately. All right, it looks like Will Brown had a mirror game of his last one, but he just got revenge this time. Jalen Hurts throws a pick instead of that extra touchdown, and that would have been... The game changer, Max Blackshear, a.k.a. Tiki Barber, gets one more yard than Jalen Hurts, interestingly enough. Uh, Jalen Hurts gets the same amount of carries as Saquon Barkley and touchdowns. Interesting. Um, does also have two more yards per carry. I don't like that. All right, fellas. Well, with all that being said, we're just going to get into the next season. Um, hopefully, Saquon can find a new contender or he'll just stay and we can build around him once again. He is a 32-year-old at this point. So don't know if we're really going to be building around him. Pro honestly, he's probably going to be let go when we get into the next season. All right, heading into the 2029 season, a.k.a. the 2030 season, is Saquon still a member of the Eagles? And he is not. Where has Saquon Barkley gone? We've got Christian McCaffrey of the Browns and Saquon Barkley of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Looks like he's just going to finish his career out where the weather's warm. All right, fellas. So it does look like we've joined Jaden Reed superstar on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers looks like we've got a man named Jay Richard and a superstar x-factor middle linebacker only 23 out of Oklahoma State absolute dog wow um honestly this team is way better than the Eagles were when we left them don't really have the same quarterback play but he is still a 90 overall just doesn't have that x-factor all right fellas I'm feeling good about this team honestly they beat us in the playoffs earlier on in the simulation so hopefully we can make a deep playoff push maybe get Saquon his second Super Bowl uh have a Tom Brady run who knows all right fellas looks like i was wrong about this team we do end up going eight and nine looks like that's a common occurrence in saquon's career unfortunately um yeah just can't get it done here um, uh, this is really sad this is very sad okay so josh richard has a pretty good season i would debatably say this is better than any of jalen hurts seasons but oh wow so saquon barkley he found a career resurgence here in tampa bay 1300 yards 11 touchdowns only has one fumble this is very, very inspirational, and I do see he has the mentor tag. That is so sad to see. Jaden Reed goes absolutely ballistic, better than any of the receivers we've played with our entire career, probably. 
I'm not going to disrespect Devonta Smith, though. Uh, that play in the Super Bowl will go down in history. All right, fellas. Well, I'm just going to go to the offseason, see if Saquon is going to retire or not. I hope not, but he is 32 right now. It looks like Dak Prescott of the Carolina Panthers decides to retire and Marshawn Lattimore. But Saquon is sticking it through for another season at least. Hopefully, we can get him that Super Bowl next year. All right, fellas. Heading into the 2030, a.k.a. 2031 season, is Saquon Barkley still a Tampa Bay Buccaneer? And he is not. Where has Saquon gone? Jaden Reed goes up to X Factor. Uh, don't know why we left this team. It looks like Saquon retired. I swear I checked. Is he in free agency? Saquon is an NFL free agent. 33 years old, down to an 80 overall normal. Um, I don't know if I want to call it quits quite yet. I think we're going to give him one more year of greatness. And then uh, that'll be it. All right, fellas, so we do have Saquon Barkley back on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Sorry I had to interfere a little bit, but, you know, I uh, don't really trust this game. With all that being said, fellas, we are going to get right into the playoffs, hopefully, in Saquon Barkley's final season as an NFL running back. He can go out on top. All right, fellas, it does look like we make the playoffs at 9-8. and eight. That is beautiful to see. It does look like we beat out... Saints at nine and eight. Josh Richard does have a down year from last year. Does have more yards, less touchdowns, and more picks though. Um, Saquon Barkley, even though he was a free agent at the start of the season, does end up having a thousand two hundred yards and thirteen touchdowns. Does have two fumbles, unfortunately, but you know, uh, Jesus, dude. Since this might be Saquon's final game, I'm just gonna stick it out. Uh, hopefully, he can prove that he's good. All right, fellas, this could be Saquon's last game. Hopefully not. Packers start outscoring. We do get an interception with Devin White for 89 yards. Gosh dang. 10 to 7. 17 to 7 going into half. Come on, fellas. It's looking like we're doing good. 17 to 7. 24 to 7 in the fourth quarter. 14 to 24. Packers are going to score once again. 21 to 24. Fourth and two. This is a massive play. And they're kicking a field goal. If there's any man that we want the game to be on the line, it's a Packers kicker wearing number seven. I know it's not Anders Carlson, but it's close enough. Come on. Miss that kick. No. Right down the middle. Um, Phillip Rivers come out of retirement to be the Green Bay Packers kicker and ruin our lives. It is a tied football game. I believe we do have all three of our timeouts still. No, we only have two. Okay. We have to drive down this field with 23 seconds. Tied ball game. Two timeouts. Come on, fellas. We can do this. Richard. It is your time, brother. Saquon Barkley, I believe. Oh, he's wearing number 32. That is just disgusting. But, come on. And we're just going to run this clock out. Interesting. Oh, we're going to call a timeout after running. Uh, that's very interesting. Are we just going to run this ball once again? Nope. Richard steps back. Rashawn Gary bringing immense pressure. Wow, Tristan Wirfs made a beautiful play there. Um, we do call another timeout. We do have Evan McPherson. Wow, this is good. We just need a couple yards... Wait, we're on his... We didn't call timeout. What are we doing? What are we doing? We were on his target line. Game is just so stupid. Um, I'm not going to stay here through this whole overtime period. We're just going to see what occurs. The Packers did win the coin toss, so they're going to start out with the ball. They do score a touchdown, and it's over. Richard cannot get it done. Matt LaFleur celebrating in our face. Um, Todd Bowles, absolutely crushed on the sideline. Someone who's even more crushed is probably Saquon Barkley. Cannot get number two. One Super Bowl in his career is probably enough, but, you know, you'd obviously be looking for that extra one, especially with a team so talented as the Buccaneers. Brandon Ayuk is still winning Offensive Player of the Year somehow, and Devonta Smith is still cooking. Um, Saquon Barkley does actually get on the best running back list at number six. That is pretty cool to see. He is over names like Jameer Gibbs, who you'd expect to be better than him at this point in their career. Saquon's just got that dog in him. All right, fellas, with all that being said, we will see right now if Saquon Barkley does decide to call it quits. And the Packers do end up winning the Super Bowl 24 to seven against the Raiders. Um, that's just, we could have been them. That could have been us. Saquon Barkley has officially called it quits after 13 seasons in the NFL. Um, it's pretty bittersweet. He had a very great career for us, sad to say. With all that being said, fellas, Saquon Barkley did end his career with a Super Bowl, so I'd say this was a success. Uh, I do really appreciate y'all watching this far into the video, and if you have made it this far, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. Uh, it does mean a lot, and uh, thank you for watching. If you've made it this far and are interested in what Saquon's career stats were, 
He ended up with 9,033 yards, 101 touchdowns, and nine fumbles on his career. Those nine fumbles, obviously, you would want less than that, but um, 101 touchdowns and 9,000 yards is absolutely insane. He did have a very great career, and uh, yeah, this video was fun to make. Uh, let me know if y'all are interested in more stuff like this.